I think we left off with some fight that's gonna happen between dumbass humans and the elf archers. I'm not really sure if they're elves, but the silver hair girls. One of the girls does some weird chuny poses. Everything she says is funny. It's a bit quirky. It was kind of annoying at first, but I'm starting to kind of get used to her. She's actually kind of funny. It's the little girl, right? The tall girl hasn't really said anything. Mio is getting super annoyed. And the humans, they just are so fucking dumb, but it's not their fault. It's the goddess's fault. Let's begin today's reaction. Wait, why are we holding Mio like that? Her eyes are straight up turning back into the spider, dude. Look, I didn't realize you could use telepathy, dude. Tomoe is just so cracked. If you really think about it, Tomoe just can do fucking anything. Right now, she just pulls out telepathy out of nowhere and can just know where Makoto is doing and just while fucking eating in his her fucking like this 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 plane of existence that she just creates called the demi plane. She's just she's just fucking busted, dude. It's not a date? She can do katana farming. Wait, she wants to do rice farming and katana making? That's that's what they want to do. Okay. Alright. It's gonna be Swordsmith Village Arc for Tomoe. Illusory City? Oh? What's her favorite food? I don't know what it is. Hidden Ogre Village. Uh oh, it looks like they just died, but they didn't. They didn't. <clears throat> the fuck? Oh, it's for Mio. Oh my. Oh, oh, my. oh, this is this is lewd. Oh my god, just just straight up, just give her the fucking blood. And their eyes are back. Mm. <laughs> the feel of her tongue. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, we don't really have a vampire in this show yet, but like doing that, that's kind of close enough, right? They still think we're human? Yo, she's got a lot of magic spells. Poison aura into it. Dark magic that counters enemy spells while the incantation is being spoken. Though basically, she just decons she just basically disrupts the magic. That's what. She's doing right now, Mio? That's dark magic? Interesting, okay. I, I just thought that this purple dark effect was somehow like poison stuff, right? Some poison, you know, acid, you know, visual effects, but this is dark magic and it can disrupt magic. Okay, good to know. Bro, it just farted. Bro, it just fucking farted. Solar flare! Just the weapons. How nice. Okay, the dumbass humans have arrived in our illusory city. Oh shit. It's the orcs and little Tomoe. I mean, we, we did want the flowers though. So these two girls are basically the protectors of this forest? Aqua? <laughs> Aqua Eris. This is straight out of Konosuba, but it's fine. Aqua Eris. Could be a sports drink, yeah. The Forest Ogre Village. Hmm? He's felt the sensation before. Yeah, she was. Yeah, it happens sometimes. CGI, CGI. Are they actually ogres then? They call themselves Forest Ogre Village. I, they don't really look like ogres. They look like elves to me. Yeah, you're not elves? Okay. They're not that different? I mean, their ears aren't pointy anymore. That's that. that I, I, this is not a greetings, dude. He, he sounds like he wants to kill us. Ancestors of elves. Interesting. I never knew there was like an overlap between ogres and elves like this, but in this show, they're like the ancestors. The look on his face is still terrifying. Dragon's Barrier? What? This is more plot? 
I don't like the way he looks at us. Everything he said was a little bit kind of polite in a really threatening way. Yo, they need better chairs. This is sad. They're just living, they're just, they're just sitting on those fucking little pillar things. Hey. What do you mean hurts? Why would it hurt to see your master? Oh, his mana is growing. Or at least stocking up. Uh, is this the master? It is the master. It's a cool intro. It, 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 it's a cool entrance. Familiar voice actor. Hello, Mr. Mondo. Mio did not like that. <laughs> But he can definitely feel something. What the? Hey, hey, hey! Not in front of her, man. Careful. It's been a while since I felt anything that good as he just fucking caressed Makoto's hands. I was like, oh, yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that feels... <laughs> what? I think it's the quality of mana. I think he, like, understands that this kid is fucking built different. 32 seconds of holding the hands? What was 32? Well, Mondo is dead now. She actually counted. All right, let's hold our hands for 33 seconds then. Relax, relax. Jealous Mio with her eyes, laser eyes like that. It's always cool. That power, what do you mean? That power. This dude got knocked the fuck down, and out of nowhere, he just grabs a fucking little tree branch. He's smoking like a cigarette. <laughs> All right, bro, literally just smokes fucking branches on the ground. All right. I think everyone here has lost their minds. They they're still under the assumption that we're humans. Is Mondo really that hype, or are they looking down on us? Yeah, I don't know, kind of scary. Mondo's pretty fun. Perfect. We're holding the hand. Yeah. Spies? I think it's some show. Hasn't she been watching like fucking Kamen Rider or some shit, the Power Ranger shit? I think she's talking about something like that. Yeah, Mio is getting like Tomoe. <laughs> You like being used, yeah? Anxious and impatient, is it because he's not able to use his arrow skills right now? He mentioned that before too, that he's getting all hull strung up because he hasn't, you know... No, it's... Is there some drama building up? Wait, wait... Alright, Mr. 32 second pervert versus Mio. He did take a hit, but he lived it. And no injuries still. Mr. Mondo might be really fucking legit. Her fucking webs can detect telepathy? What? How, I, don't I, who cares? It's a fucking spider. It's a talking spider. Why am I even questioning it? No? Wiretapping? Yeah? Yeah, your first illegal wiretapping. Great, good job. Our connection to the demons. Oh my god, they're just bad people. Come on, man. We haven't really met the demons yet, though, right? I don't think we have. Oh, my bad. The red beams of light are literally just like security, like Mission Impossible. You know, you're in a fucking room, it's dark. You press something, so like, ooh, red beam of light. Then you go Mission Impossible theme song, and you dodge that shit. That's basically that. Wow, so wait, the elders don't look happy about him sitting in the middle. He calls him pervert too. Oh! Oh my god, Mondo! Oh, Mondo! Wait, 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 what? Oh! It's just, it's, 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 it's the Overlord guy! He showed up again! Last episode, remember at the end of last episode, briefly, they just show this guy out of fucking nowhere. He just comes out of Mondo? Wait, so he was like, it, it, it came out of Mondo, right? Oh, he, he, oh, 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 he just sucked. I don't know. Nanami? This is Nanami's voice actor, right? Yeah, for sure it is, right? Oh, shit. 
Are we friends or are we enemies? What's going on? What is this thing? Like, hold up, hold up. I was too busy to talk about Nanami right there. This one simply can't move because I absorbed his vitality. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Uh, sorry, sorry. Mondo, Mondo. Troublesome creatures implying demons. So Mr. Skeleton is actually being a good person right now. Troublesome creatures. Hold up, wait. Mr. Skeleton might be actually good. He's against the demons, yeah? Interesting. It has an immortal body? Okay. Okay, you just fucking bullshitting from a video game. <laughs> He just fucking guessed. He's like, oh, your, your pursuit of knowledge has granted you an immortal body. Oh, how did you know that, young boy? <laughs> I played a video game on Earth. <laughs> it's like, we just called it bullshit. Okay. I mean, I don't really give a fuck about the four stokers. Kill him. <laughs> so debuffs don't work on us. <laughs> What is this? Oh, he got dark magic. And we're consuming. Wait, wait, wait. I want to become a grant. What's a grant? What's a grant? We'll learn that about the future, I guess. Surely we're going to recruit the Lich and the Lich will be just one of our demiplane friends, right? Probably, right? We saved your forest, dumbass! Why would you tell us that? Why would, why would you tell us that? Are you sure you want to say that? Oh, from a long time ago. This is some freedom shit, dude, when, you know... Oh, the dragon barrier! Tomoe's barrier! There it is. Alright, for some reason, Tomoe apparently fucking... Alright, we own the forest ogres now! See, this is why Tomoe is just so cracked. A grant. What is a grant? High-ranking human. Oh, oh, this is interesting. Wait, humans have tears? Uh, some kind of dark magic. Maybe we found a new way to expend our huge pool of mana. Yeah, we have a lot though. We have a lot, don't worry. That comparison is hilarious. We wasted so much mana. Incarnation of a spirit. More lore dump. I guess the spirit obviously has incredibly lots of mana, but we pr probably have the same mana pool as like a fucking demon lord in this show. But like, why? Why is our mana pool so fucking big other than the fact that we're just an Isekai main character? Oh, don't talk shit, bro. All right, the Lich has become our bitch. Yeah, he can probably teach us. He's like throwing on random terminologies and shit. No, I know Makoto has like the mana in the goddess class, but we don't know where did the mana come from, you know? Like, like yes, we know Makoto has a great deal of mana, but it's never once been explained where did he get that mana. Emma! Emma! So does that mean Emma is just way better than the Lich right now that she did it in one single paper? Is that the comparison we're making? Existence of another world that isn't the goddesses. What? Because you're aware. The demiplane? Earth? Other worlds? He wants to become an advanced human for that? What? what? I'm not following. Yeah. So grants are high ranking humans that can travel between worlds and other world or isekai. Our parents are grants. Our parents are straight up grants because they're from this world, right? Oh, wait. That's his ultimate goal. So he wants to go to Earth to do some normal world shit? Like he just wants to watch samurai movies too? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Who found. Okay. Those other worlds, not just Earth, but many different worlds. Parents, our mom and dad. Makoto, your mom and dad, yeah! So, like, are they humans? 
So like they are from like this world, right? So are they? Did, did they get the goddess's protection and shit? So actually, they're like really good looking. Is is are are they really good looking? I don't know, because I can't really tell. They are human, so they should be very good looking, I guess. But then two humans had a kid and they're just ugly as fuck. <laughs> Why is Makoto so ugly just because it's on Earth? So like imagine this, right? Let's say the mom and dad had the baby on this world that we're in right now. We would look really hot. But if just because they had it outside of this world, Makoto is considered ugly? <laughs> Alright, whatever. Those who successfully travel to other worlds are called grants. I see. Okay. Yeah, your, your parents did it, bro. Wait, you, well, of course, your parents did it. The trip is dangerous? Wait, the goddess has to allow you to open a gate? That's never gonna fucking happen. Honestly, less than 10%, that's pretty good, because I come from a world of fucking gacha, microtransactions, you know, fucking mobile games where the rate's like 0.1% for a fucking... And then you have to win the 50-50 on top of that. Well, it led you to Makoto and this realization. You're getting closer to the truth. I feel like Mr. Lich is getting to the truth. Another contract, boys. Let's go. Yeah, that Lich will be great for knowledge, too. Plus one skeleton friend. Wonder what the what world the lich is looking for. Dude, I hate this girl, dude. They're the worst. Livestock, dude. That's how they view us. That's so fucked up. Like, look at this. She's so hot, but I hate them, dude. Oh my god. The windows are fucking open, by the way, right over here. And you can even see the ogres, like, uh, the orcs, like, um, the ears popping out. They can literally listen to this. Well, I'm not sure if they can understand the language. We should just kill them. Just straight up kill them. Oh, Alki. They're gonna try to steal from us right now? Oh, my God. Do it. Try it. Try it. Oh. Oh, oh little Emma. Little Emma. <laughs> Oh, that's a lot of rings. 10 zero pact of consumption. What is that? So far, we've known about like, uh, it's always been like a ratio of uh, 100, right? 80 20 is, I think, what Makoto and Tomoe decided to do. This is a 10 0. Why is it a 10 0? Like, it doesn't, like, we can't even do 100%. We're limited to 10%. And even at 10%, Makoto gets 10, he gets zero. I think, oh, okay. I see, I see, I see. They're really looking down on him, man. <laughs> he had to suppress his own mana to allow this. We are just shitting on him so much. I feel bad. You've got wonderfully healthy bones. I expect great things from you. <laughs> okay. Don't tell me he's going to turn into waifu. No, it's just long hair right now. Wait, 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 wait. Is he changing into a fucking human? What's going on? <laughs> Why is he so jacked? I should have seen this coming because Tomoe and Mio, they were dragon and spider. They turned into waifus. So of course he's going to turn into Osmato. He reminds me of Chigiri from Blue Lock. But goddamn, dude, he is fucking muscular. Hello, Nanami. Oh, wow. They fucking... I'm surprised they hide his booty cheeks, dude. Usually they just let booty cheeks fly sometimes, but they just covered, they censored the booty cheeks. No, it's not censoring the booty cheeks. They're censoring his fucking massive dong that's hanging down beyond the booty cheeks. Oh. This is so weird listening to Nanami's voice actor talking this like soft husbando voice, man. <laughs> Yo, look at this. Tomoe looks pretty happy about this. Look at Mio's look. Mio's so judgmental. He's like, this bitch, this little motherfucker. You trying to compete with Waka again? Oh, come on. <laughs> she always has a look of like discern. Like, look at this. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. The fragment, right? Because I think the humans are fucking doing some shit. The fragment of Tomoe should realize something. Yeah. And they were connected, right? Are they attacking? Huh? What was the light? Don't tell me those humans- She's actually bleeding? 
I have a hard time believing whatever those fucking humans did. Just, maybe they set up a bomb, right? I think that's the only way. Like, little Tomoe got hit by a bomb and she's taking damage from it. I'm surprised you think that would even happen. Holy fuck. I, look, this is kind of sad, but obviously we know she's going to be fine. Like, there's no way she's actually in danger. But, like, in Mio's head, she's going like this. But I can't help but think that maybe she's a little happy. Because, you know, the competition. If she's out, <laughs> you know, then maybe we can hold his hand for 32 seconds. <laughs> nah, she'll be fine. She'll be fine. All right. That's the episode. Today was all over the place, right? So I thought we would be kind of just like doing the aftermath of whatever was happening here with, you know, collecting the ambrosia of the flowers. But it kind of was. But then we just got put into a different village, you know, and two separate plot lines are going where we're in the forest orcs and the humans got led to the illusory village. Worst fucking idea ever. We just bring them here. They're so stupid and racist that they pretty much like set up little Tomoe to get killed. Somehow here, there's like an armory, right? And I think they were trying to steal shit, but then you could hear like an explosion here too, right? There's like a big, big sound and like a light happened. So explosion, little Tomoe got hurt and Tomoe now is obviously receiving damage from it because, you know, she is a fragment of it. Like. Who actually thinks that Tomoe is in danger, though? Like, you really think that those humans are going to be able to kill Tomoe? I don't fucking think so. I think next episode, though, it's going to be very satisfying in terms of what kind of things we're going to do to those humans, assuming they're still going to be alive by the time we get there. The Forest Ogre stuff, it was pretty interesting. I think this is more of kind of like to lead into the Lich because he was just... He was just chilling there the entire time. And I thought the Lich would be really, really, you know, important, but he just immediately just gets reduced to Husbando and now... Tomoe and Mio has another person that they can just shit on because I guess he's just weaker than them. He seems like a nice person. We got to know more about Grants too, right? About how Grants are basically elite humans who are able to travel between worlds, which is our mom and dad. Are they ever going to come back here? I don't really know. Apparently, we need the goddesses to like allow us to, you know, open the gate. I just hope that little, this little, if, if they hurt this little Emma right over here, I'm going to be so fucking upset. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.